Hello, everybody. Can you listen to me? Yes. Yes, I okay. can. How are you Hello. today? A little tired. Tired. So yeah. do I. <laughs> okay. Um, antes de la clase, no sé si hay algunos de los que mencioné en el chat acá que, que no han avanzado en la plataforma. No, nadie. Todos han avanzado. Yes. Ok, great. Sesión 3. Sección 3. Ah, qué bien. Ah, recuerden que para mañana, bueno, creo que la mayoría ya hizo el examen. Pero para mañana ya tendríamos que haber cubierto la sección 3 y el examen. Así que si tienen algún problema con algo, uh, siempre díganos en el chat. Perdón, ¿cuál examen? Eh, uh, este está siempre. Está siempre en la plataforma. Después de la sección 3, al finalizarla, ah. aparece como midterm. Ese es el mm, examen. Okay. Sí, son como cuatro secciones evaluadas. Ese es el examen. Ok, it's uh, eight in one minute. So we are going to start today. This is class number five. And so, someone, some of you have a uh, we're asking about what is the difference between how and what uh, in the in the evaluation in the platform. So we are going to clarify that before the class. So we are going to explain what is the difference because uh, even me, I didn't know about that. Uh, but we can use both. So today is Wednesday, July 20, 21st. And this is the class number five. So let's start with the, the previous knowledge. That is the information that I look for you. Uh, I don't know if the person, the person who asked that is in here in the, in the session. What is the difference between how is and what is like? I have the answer here. So we use how is to talk about someone's general health or about the condition or a state of some, something or how people experience something. For example, uh, we use how is to ask about uh, health. For example, in this conversation, uh, the person A say, how is your mother, how is your mother this day? How is her general health? Or how is, how is she feeling? And the answer is, oh, she's, she's fine, thanks. Do you get the idea? Uh, about the use of how is when we want yes. to know. Okay, gentlemen. When we want to know about a condition or a state of something, something or a person, and how people experience something. If we talk about a house, an old house, and we can say, how are the walls in the kitchen? How is the condition or the state of the walls? Well, 
uh, they need a redecorating, really. How is your new car? Wonderful. It's so much easier to drive uh, than, the old, than the old one. So, usamos esto, how is, para preguntar acerca de la condición de algo. O el estado, o como las personas uh, experience something. And the next one, what is like? We use what is and then like at the end of the question to ask for a description or of, of someone or something. For example, their appearance, uh, their character, their behavior. In this conversation, uh, we have an example. What is her new house like? And it says, it's a modern one, quite big, with a nice garden. And what is your new teacher like? He is nice, he is very good looking, but he is quite strict. So we use what is like to ask about more information or to ask about a description. So that is the difference. That's the difference. I don't know if you have any question about this. Okay, no question. I hope uh, you have now clear the, the difference between those terms. So let's continue with the class. Uh, yesterday we were talking about demonstrative and we watched a video about this, that, these, and those. So we will continue today. Uh, remember that we use this to talk about a singular, singular object that is near the speaker, near the person who is speaking. And this, mm. to talk about plural object that are further from the speaker. Further mean, means far, far away. And that to singular object that is near the speaker and those plural object further from the speaker that are far away, for example, uh, let me fix this. This is like okay. Demonstrative can help to tell us. Uh, if a person or object is singular, plural, near, or far away, these demonstrative pronouns uh, replace the nouns, the names of what we are talking about. For example, if we are talking about this, uh, this girl, we say, this is my friend, this, and can you see the finger uh, that is pointing at the girl. This is my friend. This means that uh, she is near, near the speaker. Or if the friend is far away, look at the distance. That is my friend. That means that is far away, it's not near. This is the difference, the distance. And in plural, we say, these are my friends. Or uh, if they are far away, those are my friends. So the difference is, is the same, the distance. Do you have any questions? No. Yes, teacher. Do you have a question? 
Yes, I have a question. Okay. What is your uh, question? What is the difference in the pronunciation? Uh, what is the difference in between this and this, this and this? And the singular is plural. Yes. Okay. The difference is, is the how long we we pronounce. When there is singular noun, we say this, this quickly. And if it is plural, we say this a little bit longer, the pronunciation. Okay, thank you. Listen, this and this. This, this. This, these are my friends. This is my friend. That is the difference. How long we, we pronounce. Okay, thank you for the question. Now uh, we have an exercise in the platform. We have an exercise that we are going to develop today. And it's about the same topic, about demonstrative. Uh, to talk about uh, one thing, we say one. Or if it is uh, more than one, we say once with S at the end, ES at the end. One, once. One for singular and once for plural. Okay. Uh, let's do the exercise. Uh, look at the picture below and complete this conversation using demonstrative one and once. Number one, excuse me, how much? Uh, jeans. jeans are plural, so we use uh, are these. Are those. Are those. Are those or these? Look at the picture. Are those. those. So are the jeans near are those. or those. far away? These. This. According, according, to the, according to the picture, those are near. Are those those or those? Se, those. Se, se, sí, según el ejercicio de la plataforma, de, decía que era those. Okay, those. those. Because uh, she is pointing the the jeans, yeah. so she is far. The for, the the seller, for the for the are, are these yes this uh, for girl the... this girl is, no is far away sí, ella, sí. she está is lejos far. del del sí. yes she is far away from the jeans so yeah we, we say are those and the next one says which which one? You mean this? Which one? Which one? One or once? One. Once. 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 Because once. Once. Jeans are plural. It's a plural now. And the yes. next one. Yes, I do. Uh, no. The light blue. The light blue one. The light um. blue. One, one, once, once, once. Oh. because we're talking about the jeans that are plural. Then, oh, they or they, they, they are they, they, uh, 59 they. and 95 cents. They, uh, number two. I like the backpack yes. over there. How much is this? Is, is. How much is? Is because it's one. Is. Only one backpack. Okay, it's which it's one? It's it. Is. Is. The red. The red one. The red one. 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 Which one? The red one. Okay, the red one. Uh, it is 27 and 50, but the green one, 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 
but the Red green one. one, I mean, the green, one. the green one is only 22 and 25. Okay, let's check. Okay, nice. Uh, you just need to pay attention if the noun is plural or singular. And that will be okay. Uh, I guess I have a, a more explanation in the TP3. No, this is for the other activity. So we will continue with the platform. Okay, next objective. Uh, I want. I don't want to read. Can you help me, please? Can you help me read? In the lesson. In the lesson, participant will to listen to sentences. Stress. Stress. For the tempo improving pronunciation. Okay, this word is is wrong because we say will listen to without this this two only one two will listen to sentences sentence stress mm -hmm. so we say in this lesson participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation mm -hmm. so we are going to watch a video about about uh, how we pronounce for example, the question, the sound that we do when we are speaking and when we ask a question. So let's play the video. I will put you in, in mute so we can listen better. Okay, listen. Hello to all of you. I want you to pay attention to the stress given to important words when speaking. In this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Sentence stress. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. The idea is for you to listen to the audio and then repeat. Practice as many times as needed. Okay, did you do that practice at your house? Or at your home? Yes, I did. Yes. You did. Uh, for example, there are some words that uh, we put more stress, like we say them uh, higher than the other words in order to emphasize, to make emphasis of uh, what we are talking about. Then we are going to, to review that part in a, another video, I, I guess. So let's go to another uh, section. Can someone please help me read in this objective? Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preference. Okay, thank you. So in this uh, lesson, you will listen to a conversation and you will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. So let's check what is the video about. Listen, um, 
Okay, let's go. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look. Okay, let's wait to the video to charge uh, properly so we can read uh, the, the conversation. It's raining here and that's why the internet is um, a bit slow today. It's, is, is it raining at your house? Maybe in my you, house, no. You can play. It's raining here. It's raining. So in San Miguel, it's very hot. It's really hot in San Miguel. Yes. Oh my God. It's not raining. In here too, it's very hot. Yesterday was very hot at this time. So let's continue. Let's let's Look. see. Okay. These jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. Okay, could you hear uh, clearly? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes, let's, let's, let's practice the conversation. I need someone who doesn't participate always. Mm. Because I don't I know. The the chair. Okay. So let's uh, perform the conversation. Um. Okay, go ahead. Three, two, one, action. Me, teacher? Yes. Go ahead. And me. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. Okay, thank you. Do these jackets are very nice? Uh, which, which one do you prefer? I like the word of one better. The word once? Why? It look warmer. Well, I like the leather on better. It's more stylish than the word on. Mm, there is no price tag. Mm, there's no price. There is there's no price. Excuse me. How much is the jacket? Is uh, for four hundred ninety-nine dollars. Would you like to try it? It on? Mm, no, thanks. But that's and um, anyway. You're welcome. Thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's raining harder. Oh it's raining very hard, so I hope uh, we don't have problems with the connection. So let's analyze. We say, look, look, this jacket are really nice. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? Here we have uh, uh, the word prefer that we used to, to, to talk about uh, maybe something that we want. I like the wool. I like the wool one better. Do you know what is wool? Wool is a material. Do you know about that word, that material? 
Lana in Spanish. The wool one, why? It looks war warmer. Warm. Warmer. <laughs> well, I like the leather one better. This is the leather one, the black one. It is como cuero. Yes. That is another kind of material. Mm -hmm. And then it says, it's more stylish than the wool one. Stylish, like a style, is better. Um, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It is 499. Would you like to try it on? Um, no, that's okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay, let's see about materials. In the next class. Let's see about materials on the PPT. So we have the materials. Material. Look at this. Look at the picture, it's very clear, the, the meaning. We have wool, and then we have the picture that we don't need to, to mention in Spanish because it's very clear. Leather is that material. Uh, some jackets are made with leather. Then we have cotton. This is the cotton and rubber. Do you know what is this? They are tires. Well, or um, wheels. Wheels that uh, we have in the car. Then we have silk. That is the materials that the clothes Seda, are made. Yes. It's very expensive, by the way. Then we have gold, the most uh, precious metal in, in the world, in the world, the gold. most expensive. Then we have silver, that is expensive as well, and then plastic. The plastic silver. is very cheap. That's why uh, many companies made their products of plastic, but it's not healthy for the planet. So if you can avoid using plastic, don't use plastic to save the planet. Okay, let's pronounce wool. Repeat wool. with me, wool. 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 Leather. 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 Cotton. Leather. Leather. Cotton. 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 Rubber. 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 Like rubber. But no, not rubber. 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 Silk. Seal. 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 And plastic. And plastic. Plastic. Then we have another exercise about these materials in the platform, on the platform. Let's check. This is a knowledge check. So we are going to look at the following pictures. This, these pictures. And what are these things made of? 
identified each one. And use the word from the list. We are going to use this word. Cotton, rubber, gold, silk, leather, silver, plastic, and wool. So look at the pictures and identify what are they made of? What is the material? So number one, a bracelet, bracelet is made of? Plastic. 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 We have uh, the answer there. Made of plastic. plastic. Number two, a ring. Gold. 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 A gold. Gold. Gold ring. A gold mm. ring. Number three. What, Silk. What material Silk. is this? Silk. 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 A silk tie. Silk. Silk tie. Silk tie. Then we have number four. Those are wool. 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 A wool. 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 A wool sock. Number five, we have a jacket that is made of leather. 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 Are you sure? Do you music? Do you music? Uh, your there is music over there. Okay, uh, do me a favor. If you are not talking, keep your mic in mute, please, so we can listen. Okay, let's continue. Number five is leather. Number six, silver. Silver. Six, are you sure? Cotton. 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 Let's, let's try with cotton. Number seven. Those Silver. are silver. 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 Right. right. And number eight. Those are Robert. 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 Uh, let's let's check. Is Robert with you? Let's see if I am correct. If you are correct. Okay, very nice. We got eight out of eight. Okay, very good. So do you have any question about this topic? It's simpler, we are talking about materials. No, no question. No question. Okay, thank you. Let's continue with the next slide. And we have a objective. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjective. We are going to talk about comparatives. So let's see. First, we, we are going to watch the video and then we are going to uh, look at some information in the slide in my presentation. So let's listen to the video and pay attention.
By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer. I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three as er plus than. Okay, look at the structure. And um, here we have a small, that is an adjective. We use adjectives to describe things, to describe. Uh, as well person or object, anything. We use adjectives. So a small is an adjective. And then we have a smaller. This is the comparative. To the word, to the word small, we add ER. Look at this, the adjective plus ER plus than. So look at the example. This dress is smaller than the other one. Smaller. So let's see. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. Let's see some examples. Okay, listen. Comparative adjective. We form the comparative by adding ER, as I told you before, to the adjective. So in here we have a list. We have the adjectives new, John, fast, and taller. What we do is to add the ER at the end of the adjective. the ER. So we have the same word, new, but we add ER, new word. Then new we word. have young, and we say younger. Younger. Fast, faster, and tall, taller. Those are words that we use to describe either person or things. Do you have any question or is that clear? It's clear. It's clear. Yes. Okay. Teacher, John is joven. John, yes. John is joven. Young, uh, younger? Younger. Younger means, uh, let's say, I am younger than my mother i am younger than my mother so that means that 
for example, she is uh, 50 and I am uh, 34. Do you get the the idea? Yes. Okay, that means that uh, younger is more than young. This is, is, for example, new, newer. Newer means that is uh, recent. Más reciente, ok? Es más. Cuando estamos comparando, prácticamente decimos es más. Eh, joven, yo soy más joven que mi mamá. So, younger means uh, more. Or, well, a comparative means that, that is more than the other thing that we are comparing. So then we are going to, our, to study some examples. Let's see this one. Uh, when not the, the spelling changes in adjectives like this. We have big, fat, large, and dry. When the adjective ends with this, um, I would say, with these uh, letters, for example, G, a T, with a E and a Y. In this case, we add another G and also add ER at the end. So we say bigger with double G, bigger, as well with the T, we say uh, fatter, fat, fatter, double T, oh. and always the ER, and large, in this case, we have the E, the letter E, and you just need the R. And we say larger, larger, or larger. Then we have dry. We dry. add the I and E and the R. So we say drier. Drier. It's not dry. like, not like this. Let me see, let me show you. This is, those are normal adjectives. So we use add ER, ER, and ER, ER, and we make the comparative. Newer, younger, faster, and taller. In this case, we don't say bigger, we don't say fatter, or we don't say larger, or we don't say drier. No, those are different because of the uh, the structure. We add the G, a G, double G, double T, then only the R, and in here, I, E, R. So it, it's not the same rule for all of them. <clears throat> it's totally different. Uh, do you do you get the idea the rule guys una consulta dice todas las palabras que terminan en consonante se le agrega la se repite la misma consonante se le agrega ir er, er. er. uh -huh. uh, cuando termina como eh, por ejemplo, en consonante uh, fast se le agrega la la t Se repite la T? In here, fast. Fast, uh -huh. No. No. No, no sería se repite. Sería una excepción. Ajá. No sería como una regla para todo. Todo lo, lo que terminen en consonante. Mm, 
No, en este caso fats solo le agregamos la, la E y la R. Pero en este caso okay. fats uh, le agregamos, sí, la doble T, fatter. Uh -huh. uh, Hay ah, son algunas excepciones que por la regla están establecidas así. Ok. Pero es importante en estos que pongan atención. Cuando termina en G, en T, aquí con la E y la Y. No siempre agregamos la ER. Aquí cambiamos. Y, Cámbiala eh, ahí. Sí. Ya no usamos la, la Y, sino que uh -huh. usamos la I, I latina y ER. Y aquí, como ya tenemos la E, en large, solo agregamos la R. No usamos doble E. There are some exec exceptions. So, if you want to study more, about this uh, just tell me and I'm going to look for more examples and I'm going to send send you to the to the whatsapp chat okay. um, as well we have another kind of comparative so look at the difference these one are very short only three letters or for one syllable, new, young, fast, tall, big, fat, large, dry. And long adjectives, we usually form comparative of long adjectives with, with three or more syllables. We add the word more. As you can see, this word is uh, larger, is is more, is uh, bigger than the other ones. So the rule that we have for this, we add the word more, 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 and, and more in this case. When the word is large, it's larger. So we don't do this. Interested, interested -er is not like that. Expensive, -er, no. Popular, -er, no. Because if the word is longer, uh, we use the word more. More interested, more expensive, and more popular. Those three are just some example. There are more words. There are more words. So you so do you understand the this rule is the same is always a comparative but different rule it's a different rule okay do you understand yes yes you should understand yes yes when the word has more than one syllable, uh, we add the word more. For example, beautiful has more than one syllable. We say more beautiful. Here we have some examples. And we use the comparatives uh, to compare people and things. We say how they are similar or different. For example, if there are two things or people or two groups of, of things or people, we use the comparative. Example, La Gran Vía is bigger than Plaza Mundo. Is bigger. Can you see big? Big is the main form. Bigger is the comparative. And we use the word than. After the comparative, we use the word than. It's bigger than Plaza Mundo. 
is okay. bigger y es más grande o, o... yes is more okay. mm -hmm. in this case bigger because it's a short uh, adjective and okay. the other example Cuscatlan Stadium is smaller than Santiago Bernabeu Stadium is smaller this is smaller yeah because Santiago Bernabeu uh, is bigger is uh, you have looking at the, in the pictures that is uh, one of the biggest stadium in the world. So, do you have any question about this? About this information? Okay, no. No. Let's uh, let's let's see. I have in here some uh, adjectives. I, we have all, and here we have the comparative form cleaner, wet, nicer, and easier. So we, what we have to do is to write the missing word. For example, old. What would be the comparative? Older. Older. Yes. Older. Because it's short, it's a short um, adjective, we use add er. Yeah. In, in here we have the comparative. We need the, the base word. Clean. 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 It will be clean. Clean, cleaner. As you can see, only one syllable. We pronounce that clean, only one syllable. And here we have wet. Bitter. Weather. With double, double T. With double T. Weather. Yeah. Weather. Do you know what is wet? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Nice, nice, nicer. Nice. nice. And here we have easier. Easier. Easy. What, what do we need? Easy. What I? Easy. With I. Easy. Easy. Without Easy. I. With I. Yeah. Easy. Sure. As you can see, we are using the, the rule. We replace the Y for the I. This. And then we add ER. We replace the Y for the I. And then we add ER. So let's do some some examples. For example, I'm taller than my sister. Or I can say my sister is shorter than me. Let's write that. My sister is short. We have uh, the adjective short. What will be the comparative? Shorter. 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 With double T. Shorter. Is shorter or let's see. No, in this case, we don't use the double T. There are some ex exceptions. Wow. Shorter yeah. than <laughs> me. We have an exception. Sure. We use we use only one T. Shorter than me. Remember, use the word than. If we only say is shorter me, uh, it's not correct. Always use the word than. That shows you that it's a comparative. 
So tell me another example. <coughs> Using me teacher. My cell phone is cheaper than my cell phone's wife. Cheaper than my wife. Than my wife cell phone. Wife. I have. It's cheaper than my wife's cell phone. Okay, very good. Another Hi, teacher. Hi, I have an example, teacher. Tell me your example. Okay, uh, my girlfriend is more beautiful than my sister. Really? My girlfriend. My girlfriend. My girlfriend is more beautiful than sister, my sister. Okay, good. As you can see, we use the word more. It's more beautiful because beautiful has more than one syllabus. We have beautiful. See and full, beautiful, beautiful, more beautiful than my sister. Next one. Next example. Tell me. Uh, the my exam is more difficult than. Uh, time exam. Repeat again, please. The math exam is more difficult. The math exam. It's more difficult. It's more difficult than, than Science exam. Than science exam. Okay, nice. Nice. We use more because difficult has more than one syllable as well. Very good. Another one? Hi, teacher. Tell me. My brother is bigger. I. Than I. Your brother is bigger. My brother is bigger than, than I. I. That will be me. Than me. me. Yes. Than me. Yes. Than okay. me. My brother is bigger than me. Or you can say taller. Is taller in size. Very good. See? Tell me. Your example. Another example. Sulma, do you have an, an example? <laughs> okay, do you have a, an example? Using comparative. Uh, my son is more. My son is intelligent. More intelligent. Is more intelligent. Yes. Done. Uh, 
down. His friend. Yes. Eh, primos. Yes. Sería cousin. cousin. Dan his cousin. Cousin. Yes, cousin. Dan his cousin. Cousin. Sí. So your son is more intelligent than his cousin. Yes, his cousin. Okay, very good. Another long adverb. Intelligent. Or we can say smart. Smart is only one syllable. So we smart. use E R. Smarter. Smarter, smarter. is or smart is a synonym of intelligence. Means the same. Smart. Like a okay. smart TV, like a smart cell phone. Okay, very good. What time is it? Uh, it's 9 p.m. Oh my goodness. We have a nine chat. <laughs> it's nine o'clock, yes. It's nine o'clock. Okay, we are going to stop here. Uh, we could cover this topic. If you have any questions, we can continue in the other class. So okay. I will repeat. Uh, para los que aún no han avanzado, uh, los invito a que lo hagan es, esta noche, se queden un ratito, ¿verdad? Uh, practicando en la plataforma. Para que pueda, hasta qué sección tenemos que llegar? Hasta la sección 3 deberían de tener completa y el examen, si, si logran hacerlo mañana. Uh, okay. pero si ustedes quieren seguir avanzando lo pueden hacer, no hay ningún problema okay. pero el objetivo para esta semana era llegar hasta la sección 3 y el examen si han avanzado más de eso no hay problema está más que bien ok si okay, tienen teacher. alguna duda como siempre ya saben hacerlo por el chat que ya sea yo o sus compañeros les pueden ayudar Okay, thank you so, very much. Gracias. This is all for today. No. Have a good thank night. You. Take care. Have a good night. And see you care. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, good teacher. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tonight. Yeah.